A former NASA scientist has taken it upon himself to try and prove once and for all whether life is a simulation. The theory has formed the premise of a few sci-fi movies over the years. But what if even all the actors, producers, and writers of those movies were stuck in a simulation themselves without even knowing it? Could near-death experiences, apparent glitches, and bizarre coincidences all be explained by something outside of our awareness controlling everything we do? A former NASA and Department of Defense physicist, Thomas Campbell, thinks it could be. In 2017, he published a paper that detailed several experiments designed to figure out whether something is rendering our world similar to the way video games are created. Campbell has set up a nonprofit called Center for the Unification of Science and Consciousness, CUSAC, to continue his hunt for the truth and scientists at the California State Polytechnic University, Cal Poly, are now putting his experiments to the test. On its website, QSAC describes one of its goals as to develop fundamental knowledge and understanding of both the self and the evolving information system that appears to be the source of all reality, through rigorous scientific investigation of both physical reality and consciousness. In a press release, QSAC explained Campbell's experiments are expected to provide strong scientific evidence that we live in a computer-simulated virtual reality. They're based on the idea that our consciousness is not a product of the simulation. It is fundamental to reality, with Campbell hypothesizing that the universe doesn't exist without a player at the center of it. It's certainly an interesting theory, but it will only become more interesting if Campbell finds evidence to support it. He noted his five experiments could challenge the conventional understanding of reality and uncover profound connections between consciousness and the cosmos. News of Campbell's experiments has sparked mixed reactions from people who think he could be on to something and those who are more skeptical of the idea that the world around us is a simulation. In 2017, a group of physicists proposed a few methods of finding out in their paper on testing the simulation theory with varying degrees of complexity. Their idea rests on the assumption that the simulation would have limited resources, and so isn't simulating everything in the universe all at the same time. As such, the simulation would act much like a computer game, only rendering the parts of the simulation that are being observed by a player at the time. Sort of like how in some video games, the entire observable universe off-screen is not rendered to save on computer power, a wise move. The key to finding out whether we are in a simulated universe or a real one, according to the team, is to find out when information becomes available to us, the observers. To save itself computing work, the system only calculates reality when information becomes available for observation by a player. And to avoid detection by players, it maintains a consistent world. But occasionally, conflicts that are unresolvable lead to VR indicators and discontinuities, such as the wave-particle duality, the authors wrote in the paper. Should it only be at the time of observation by an observer and not the apparatus? The team suggests this would be evidence that it is only being rendered at the point of observation meaning that we are living in a simulation. By using a series of abstractions, they propose that it might be possible to find, should we live in a simulation, that the information is only given to us at the point of observation. To do this, they aim to create versions of the double-slit experiment that would show us when information becomes available to us. Two strategies can be followed to test the simulation theory. The team, led by Thomas Campbell, a former applied physics scientist for NASA and the Department of Defense, explains in the paper. 1. Test the moment of rendering. 2. Exploit conflicting requirements of logical consistency, preservation, and detection avoidance to force the VR rendering engine to create discontinuities in its rendering or produce a measurable signature event within our reality 
that indicates that our reality must be simulated. In one of the simplest of their proposed experiments, the which way data and screen data are collected on two separate USB drives and not seen by an experimenter. Keep doing this, and you have a lot of flash drives that contain which way data and screen data. You then destroy the which way data USBs based on a coin flip. Destruction must be such that the data is not recoverable and no trace of the data is left on the computer that held and transferred the data. For n even, one can replace the coin flipping randomization with that of randomly selecting a subset composed of half of the pairs of USB flash drives containing which way data for destruction with uniform probability over such subsets, they say in the paper. The test is successful if the USB flash drive storing impact pattern show an interference pattern only when the corresponding which way data USB flash drive has been destroyed. So if you open up the screen data and see wave patterns when the corresponding which way USB stick has been destroyed, that would mean that the simulation had rendered reality at the point of observation, you opening the file, and not when observed by the detector. The team proposed other more complicated versions of the experiment, which are available in their paper. While a fun idea to think about in science fiction, the team actually raised money via a Kickstarter to actually perform the experiment. It is not clear which experiment they have chosen to go ahead with, but the team explained that the tests are being carried out at California State Polytechnic University, Cal Poly. A Canadian university also involved in the research has chosen to stay anonymous, according to a press release. The idea here is that consciousness is not a product of the simulation. It is fundamental to reality, Campbell said in the press release. If all five experiments work as expected, this will challenge the conventional understanding of reality and uncover profound connections between consciousness and the cosmos. While big talk, it would take some seriously impressive and replicable results to upend anything, let alone provide evidence that we are living in a simulation. Results in the unlikely event that they are interesting will be open to interpretation. Just like all the other strange results of quantum experiments, quantum mechanics is weird and people have gotten very carried away while thinking about the double slit experiment and thought experiments like Schrodinger's cat these things are difficult to interpret, but there are a rich variety of explanations for what we observe better than that we are in a crummy simulation with a limited amount of power, rendering reality to us at the moment of observation. Thank you for watching the Cosmos News YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Your support means the world to us. And remember, keep looking up at the stars. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you again.